What's up guys, Brunsnick's back. When should you use a strong asymmetric ball versus a control asymmetric ball? Today I'll be showing the differences between the track archetype versus the Hammer NV Tour. Two bowling balls with very different core properties. So I'm gonna get these out in the lanes with Specto data this time to show you what they do in comparison to one another and when one ball should be used over another. But before we get into that, please subscribe to my channel. Now, let's see track archetype versus Hammer Envy Tour. All right, comparison time of a sort. We're gonna talk about when should you use a strong, aggressive asymmetric versus a control asymmetric. What I mean by that is Envy Tour has a much lower differential and a smaller intermediate, 034, 013, versus the archetypes 053, 020. So a lot more intermediate, a lot more total flutter potential. How do these translate in the ball reaction and response to the pins when you get them on the lanes? So we're gonna see when might be the right time to use one versus the other. I chose these two because, I don't know, sounded right. All right, so we're gonna try these from a couple different angles. The out angle is probably not gonna be fantastic, but we'll try it anyway. I'll try to flatten the hand out a little bit, see how they go through. Okay. Actually held pocket better than I thought it would. And that ball continues to surprise me. I mean, with the archetype video, the original video, very, very versatile and also very, very strong in the back. Was not expecting a ball like that. All right. So we'll try NB Tour now. Same line. We'll just see. Give a heads up here. Side by side. Probably got that in a little bit. And of course, we'll look at Specto data along the way. In the first shot, the inventory was laid down a little further right with less launch angle, leading to a break point about two and a half boards left. This resulted in a big difference of overall hook and hook power, playing through the oil more and not creating a lot of friction. All right, so flare wise, we can see the flare rings on here, very narrow probably about four inches, five inches of flare, where the archetype might be a little harder to see right now, but a lot more flare. We're talking seven plus inches of flare. That's a lot of flare. So how is this translating into ball reaction? And we'll see that. And we'll see how they respond as I start moving in. And I think you'll start seeing a bigger difference so for now, we'll move five left to where that spot was. Give a little inside out swing. This is gonna be, I think, where Envy Tour plays the best. Just a pure rolling bowling ball. Very good from that angle. Set up nice in the mid, didn't overreact. So we'll see if that's the same case with the archetype. Sure shot. Let's see if we can't do the same thing. All right. Let's see those side by side. I think both of them held their own right there in that zone. In shot two, the archetype started about a board right on the laydown with similar launch and similar breakpoint positions. While all the metrics here were fairly close, the main difference was pin deck exit board but neither one was a slouch. So we're not seeing a ton of difference yet. Let's move uh, another five. So now we're uh, 10 left where we began. With the archetype. Okay. We got out to about six board or so. Plenty of pack, plenty of punch through the pins there. Now see if MV Tour can hold its own there, or if we start seeing any kind of differences between the two. Great 
good shot. Okay. I think we're starting to see a little difference between that asymmetry. Let's take a look at the Specto data. In shot three, these were virtually identical with ball speed, lay down board, and launch angle, leading to a similar overall motion. The Emmy Tour was a little straighter in this comparison, seeing about two and a half boards different in overall hook, with most all of it being on the back end. You can see the inch angle difference with the Envy Tour not seeing the friction as early and standing up. While they both had greater impact angles, the Envy Tour pushed through the break point and as a result, deflected to the pins. So that ball labored looked like, at least to my eyes. So now we're gonna go another five left and we're starting to see the difference between a ball that doesn't flare as much versus a ball that flares a lot and changes direction harder. We'll see if it becomes more evident as we move in left. So another five left or 15 left of where we began. We'll go in tour here. That's out pretty wide to five. Okay, I'm gonna feed that to the dry, just like I did that one. And then uh, when we move another five, we'll try to keep that last one in the oil a little bit and see what they do there. But that ball looked great. I mean, it's all about how you get it to the dry, friction-wise. So we got that to five. We'll do the same with archetype. Might have got there just a pinch sooner, but those are a pretty fair comparison there. Got them out to the same spot. Both went through the pins really nice there. Look at the specto data. The archetype started about a board left with a little more launch angle, leading to a break point position about a half board further right on the lane. This resulted in almost three more boards of overall hook. You can see by the greater entry angle that the archetype sees the friction earlier and stands up harder. Pin deck exit boards were about the same on the shot. It was a pretty good comparison. This will be the last and final setup. We're gonna test uh, another five left. We're trying to keep this in the oil a little bit. So ideally, I think my break point will be right around nine, 10, somewhere in there. Okay, definitely slowed the speed down, got around a little bit more. Got out to about 9, 10 where I wanted to be. So we'll try to make that same shot with Envy Tour. And we'll wrap up this video and talk about it a little bit. Let's just talk about the flare rings again. The separation on archetype, much wider flare rings. And that's where you get that seven inch flare versus, you know, the four inch with Envy Tour. But all right, let's try it. 20 left. Try to keep that ball in the oil longer. Softer speed. And more around it. Thought that was pretty close. Look at them side by side. Now let's look at the Specto data on those two. In the final shot, these metrics were virtually the same where the Envy Tour started up a little bit sooner and as a result had a break point position about a board left. You can see two more boards of overall hook with most of it being at all on the back end. As we start encountering more oil, you'll see the entry angle come down with the impact angle go up in relation. As the ball encounters more oil, the entry angle will be lower because the ball struggles to find friction and change direction in that part of the lane. When it finally does see friction, you'll see an increase in impact angle as the ball is recovering hard off the dry boards. Both balls went through the pins phenomenally, exiting the pin deck at the 21 and 22nd board. Now I guess the age old question, you know, which ball is better in this scenario when they both struck and, and looked fairly good? Now granted we are bowling on a house shot, but there's a pretty good puddle in the middle. Side by side, to the naked eye, there may not be that much difference because they both went through the bins pretty well. Um, in my opinion, when you start moving further left, moving into the lane, sorry, I'm right-handed, but you're gonna want that intermediate differential stronger to get that ball to change direction. Now, with a lower intermediate and a lower differential, you'll be able to play straighter angles better 
and with a higher intermediate and higher differential, you'll be able to open up your lane and hook it more. So that's what I think. When should you use each one? Look at the Specto data. You tell me what you think. Which ball looked better, Archetype or MV Tour? Please leave your comments, and as always, subscribe if you haven't already.